in this video let's do percentage calculation in three different methods in power bi before doing percentage calculation let's look on our data how it looks here i am using this data which contains three columns user id submitted feedback on and feedback data i have used this data from excel source and i mentioned the source link in this video description kindly make use of it and here by using this data we have to calculate the percentages of feedback and here we are going to create a percentage in first method in first method i will be using new measure then i will go for new measure once i click new measure now i will rename this measure into percentage in percentage i will be using a dax function divide in divide it is asking for three parameters which is numerator denominator and alternate result in numerator i will be using count for getting the count of this feedback i will be using survey data feedback and i will close the bracket comma in denominator i am going to use a dax function called calculate which is useful for doing advanced expressions and in that calculate i am going to use count in that i will be using survey data feedback closing bracket comma and in filter i will be using all selected and i will close the bracket close the bracket of calculate and close the bracket of divide and once it is completed i am going to commit it once i committed it here in percentage of measure is created now i am going to create a chart by using this measure now let's go to report and here i have already created a template for chart in this template i am just going to drag the data for that here i will be dragging feedback into axis and percentage into values now if you notice here the format is not correct for correcting that format i am going to click on that percentage and in measure tools you can change this format into percentage and here the decimal points are automatically changed to 2 let it be now we got the category wise percentages satisfactory 29 point percentage and for very good it is 22.52 percentage now let's do the same thing in second method i will be using this this template and in this i will be using feedback in axis and same feedback i'm going to use it in values it is automatically converted into count but i don't want count i want this in percentage so i'll be using show value as in percent of grand total once i click percent of grand total here it is now reflecting in percentage if you compare both charts it's showing the similar results now what i will do i will be going to create a slicer in that slicer i'll be using feedback and here if i click on any letter like if i click bird it is showing what is the percentage and here if i click very good it is showing the percentage but here if you notice it is showing 100 percentage but our expected results are not that we need the exact percentage of that particular category for getting that i'm going to use a third method In the third method, I am going to edit the first method of measure, which we have used in first method. Here in this DAX, I am going to edit this all selected. Instead of all selected, I am going to use all and I will commit it. Once I commit it, here if you go to that chart, and now it is showing the same result and now if you click on any category now if you notice here it is showing 23.18 in third method 
in second method and in first method it was showing 100 percentage and same thing if you do for no comments it is same and if you do multiple selections even though it is showing the correct results in third method and in first and second method it is not showing the correct percentage